Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here with my guest star. J5518, don't you forget it. And the two of us are here to review the episode Enemy in Law. So, J5, what is Enemy in Law about? This episode is about when Plankton falls in love with Betsy Krabs, that's actually Mr. Krabs' mom. And a way to think of it from Karen, because he's tired of falling in love with Karen, and she's a robot. She can't do nothing. She can't feel love. So in a way to get the Krabby Patty formula, and because Krabs thinks he wants to get him away from it, Plankton pretends to fall in love with his mom. Good old Krabs gets jealous, as a son would be, to lose affection. And because he cares about his mom, he would do anything in his power to stop Plankton from his ploy to get the Krabby Patty formula. Well, also SpongeBob thinks it's very delusional. Why... And he's stupid because he always thinks Plankton's in love with your mom, Mr. Krabs. Well, Mr. Krabs has to find a way to stop Plankton and their love from getting too real, from getting the formula. I thought this movie this, it was an okay episode, to be honest. I mean, the whole love thing in SpongeBob, it can work one way. It can be funny, or it can be creepy. If you don't know why I mean creepy, watch the episode of Krabs with Mrs. Puff on uh, of the word in his honor and money. That was funny, but it was meant to be weird. This was just plain weird. How can a woman that big love a guy so small? But then again, hey, what are the odds? It's nothing special. I've seen other episodes where they try to do the love ploy to get through some secret. I mean, like I said, the one Mrs. Puff and Mr. Krabs is one thing. You know, Pearl going on a date with SpongeBob. I think it's a ploy for SpongeBob to get, rid of, to get Mr. Krabs off her back. I mean, that's kind of been kind of useful in the series, and... I don't mind it being used so much, but maybe they could have taken it with a different twist. But this felt like a weird Harold and Maude kind of thing, if you know what I'm saying. I would give that it was funny that that scene, Mr. Krabs getting embarrassed by his mom and Plankton just to fall with him. And SpongeBob being the obnoxious idiot as usual, always thinking it's real love, even though Mr. Krabs knows it's it, Plankton's just fucking with him. It is funny that he tries to, they, they see baby pictures of Mr. Krabs, they get embarrassed, which is I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, your mom spoils you as a kid, right? Spoils you as an adult. And that was really funny, just seeing how Mr. Crab, Mr. Plankton not only knows more about Krabs, but he knows of his family history, so he gets to be a little joker with him. I thought that was funny. Overall, it was an okay episode for season four, and if you like it, good for you. Well, J5, it looks like me and you have an opposing opinion on this episode because, mm -hmm. in my opinion... This is one of the best SpongeBob episodes I've ever seen. It's yeah. one of the funniest episodes in general. Um, I, I just freaking love this episode. Yes, I get where you're coming from with the whole weird thing. But, I mean, in reality, you know, in our society, there are, there are going to be the actual young people, like people in their 30s, dating people in their 60s. Yes, in, in our society, yes, that's creepy. So... But I, I actually thought this episode handled it with the, without it coming off as too creepy. You know, it could have gone the extremely creepy mm -hmm. way, but I thought personally because of how it was executed, because of how the writers wrote the episode, and because of how funny they kept the episode, that it really wasn't all that creepy to me. Yes, a little bit, but that's really not a problem with me because I just had such an amazing time watching Enemy and Law. I just loved how Plankton falls in love with... Um, Mama Krabs, you know, there's a bit where he's talking to her for the first time, and then Plankton's all like, <sighs> and then Mama Krabs is all like, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> so there's that, and then there's the, of course, one of my favorite quotable lines from season four. It's uh, Plankton, Krabs, Eugene, Mom, Mommy, SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Uh, so there's was, funny man, moments that. Was, that was funny. I forget what you Yeah. Mean. So, in my opinion, this episode just kept things funny. It really is a funny and entertaining episode from start mm -hmm. to finish, and they made something entertaining out of it. And plus, the ending when Mama Krabs cheats on Plankton with the robot, that was hysterical. <laughs> and then when uh, Plankton reveals the truth, and then you see the big, the big guns and Mama Krabs' muscles, that was great, too. That was and of course, yeah. and of course, the ending where Karen basically gives Plankton her payback because Plankton unplugged Karen. So that was just freaking great right there. And SpongeBob, 
is probably one of the most hilarious I've ever seen SpongeBob in an episode ever. Like this honestly is one of the funniest roles that SpongeBob has ever gotten. So overall, um, in my opinion, Enemy in Law is one of the best episodes of season four in general. It's just one of my favorite SpongeBob episodes of all time. 10 out of 10. I honestly have no issues with this movie movie. I honestly had no issues <laughs> with this episode. It was just well written, it was well executed, and it was just funny as hell. Great. So now me and J5 are here to review Mama 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 Boy 6. The movie. I am the voice announcer once again for Spongebob to another episode of Murder Man and Monica Boy. Requested oh. by Dark Mike 96 well, this one is an episode of Spudger and Patrick being the biggest fanboys ever for our favorite aquatic retiree old, old McCrudgeons decided to get all their favorite episodes and decided to create a, well, because they never got the plans to film a, uh, a Mermaid Man movie, they wanted to make it a reality, so they hired everyone in Bikini Bottom to make the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy movie. And shenanigans ensue making this funny film. You know the typical ways of how a film is made, like bloopers, but what happens are the bloopers, and it's funny. I love this episode. It's fucking funny because I get the whole movie jokes, and I always like this concept of the whole Mermaid Man movie set. You know, kind of the way directors handle it, and seeing all the gags of these two old people trying to make a movie. That SpongeBob and Patrick are the two idiots behind the movie, and they don't know how to make a fucking film. So seeing them make a film is the best part of it. You have, you know, Patrick be set, Scooter be the music, um, Mr. Krabs does the catering, obviously makes sense. Pearl is supposed to be a standout girl being kidnapped. Oh no, he's after me, help me, Mermaid Man. Don't worry, in the aqua cave. Stop, cut, it's just too funny. The takes, the hilariousness, and I thought the timing of the comedy was great, the dialogue was the best part, just because it's like, oh my god. I couldn't stop laughing until like two days after I saw that, so I love it. I give it a 5 out of 5. If you're a fan of Spongebob or you're a fan of films, I guarantee you would enjoy this episode in season 4 of Spongebob. Now, Tiger Dude, what are your thoughts on Mermaid Man and Monica Boy 6, the movie? J5, I have to agree with you. This episode was a lot of fun. I thought it was a very great episode. It's just really, really entertaining to watch. I have to agree with you, J5, in terms of the whole movie-making thing, how SpongeBob and Patrick have no fucking clue on how to film a movie. I like how shenanigans are going down, and one of my favorite quotes of SpongeBob ever was when Sandy's like, Does somebody say boom? And then you have Plankton in charge of the holding the microphone, which was hilarious too. So it's hilarious how they have their own movie crew, but things aren't exactly going their own way. Mr. Krabs does our money for Krabby Patties, which is funny. <laughs> yeah. And just seeing them on set is just really funny. And Pearl, she's actually not annoying. Thank God. <laughs> she's not a bitch in this episode. She's, my e. <laughs> he's She's actually likable in this episode. Why can't there be more SpongeBob episodes like that? Writers, please do me a favor. Make Pearl more likable in more episodes like this one. She was actually awesome here. The writing was very well done. I liked the idea of a, just a Merman and Barco Boy movie. And it was just really nice how even if things weren't going their own way, you could tell SpongeBob and Patrick they just really wanted to make this movie, even if it doesn't turn out to be great. It's just very sweet. And, and of course, you got to love those over-the-top moments when you would see a close-up of SpongeBob's mouth every time he says, and actors. And action. <laughs> I always say this every time I review a Merman Barnacle Boy episode, but Ernest Borgnine and Tim Conway always do a great job providing their voices for the characters in Merman and Barnacle Boy. They were definitely very entertaining here. Now, in terms of negatives I did have with the episode, yeah, there were a couple of over-the-top moments. One major one, one <clears throat> that was disturbing, but... There was a scene where Squidward gives Merman and Barnacle Boy makeovers, and yeah, that was a little too much in my opinion. That was just, ooh. But the one that I thought was completely 
unnecessary, completely over the top, and I just did not like it, was towards the end when SpongeBob was having his freak out. He literally grabs the ground, and you see him eating worms like, dude, what the fuck? Holy yeah. shit. I think Dougie, what's his name? Tough Dog ran away chewing his own bone. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then the other negative I did have was that I thought the president of the fan club was the jerk to SpongeBob and Patrick in the beginning regarding how Merman and Barnacle Boy are too old to do the roles, so they get these young Hollywood actors to portray Merman and Barnacle Boy. It's um Merman and Barnacle Boy episode, but not your usual Merman and Barnacle Boy episode. They're not fighting crime. There's no villains. It's just an episode about them filming a movie. So it was a little something different, and I really appreciate that. I really did love the ending where we see SpongeBob and Patrick's film come together, and you could see that everyone in the fan club wasn't liking it, but the fact of the matter is that SpongeBob, Patrick, Ian Merriman, and Barnacle Boy are quite enjoying the movie themselves because they made the movie, and they had fun with this. So that's why this is a very great episode, and I'm going to give Merman Man and Barnacle Boy 6 the motion picture, an 8 out of 10. It was definitely a lot of fun, and I just really liked the episode a lot. Special thank you to J5 for being a guest star for this review, and please check out j 535 one channel, you guys. I will leave a link in the description below. So this is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that me and J5 here will always have Tiger Power!